and the former seat of government, the castle, has been turned into a museum, commissioning the head of state's museum at the castle, also the promised to ensure the restoration of forts and castles across the country to promote tourism. He again reiterated the need for the country to preserve its history to inspire the citizens to use their talent and energies to boost development. Sixty years on, I'm honored to be here to open an exhibition commemorating this 60-year-old journey, Ghana, the road to independence. This exhibition pays homage to our forebears whose blood, sweat, and toil won us our independence. I'm happy this exhibition showcases many everyday people ranging from market women to farmers, without whose contributions our independence would have remained a pipe dream. This exhibition also puts light on statesmen like Joseph Ephraim Casely Hayford and an accomplished playwright and lawyer, Kwabnasichi. Pa Grant, the financier and president of the United Gold Coast Convention, the Gold Coast's first mass political party, is featured here too. And so are the big six, Obeche Bilamte, Kwame Nkrumah, Akwa Jay, my granduncle Dankwa, my uncle Willie, Bulemo Furayata, and my father, Edward Akufu Addo. I treat the general public to come and see the interesting exhibits on, on display and learn about our history. And I hope as many children as possible will get the chance to see this exhibition too. 